I don't know, since I was young, I always was was interested. I used to always watch my father making pies. I don't know, I just liked it. I don't know what it was about it, I just liked it. And then when I was about 14, 14, 15, I would make some before then, but around 14, 15 years old is when I started making, you know, more often. He was, he was letting me start to make a few of them a day instead of just one just for fun, you know? And uh, I really did like it. By 15, 16, I was making them all the time. After school, I would come in and uh, start making pies. I'm very passionate about making pizza because it's very simple, honestly. It just comes down to I really enjoy doing it. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy eating it. And I enjoy watching people eat it when they very, you know, when they're satisfied with it. They're happy. I actually see that they're happy with the, the pizza. And that just, you know, makes me happy. It just, you know, you en it's not really work. When you when you come to do something that you enjoy doing, how can you really how can you really consider that work, you know? I you know, I, I always want to put out a good product. I don't wanna just throw something out there and and not, you know, and not have no, you know, there's no satisfaction. When you just put something out there just to do it, there's really, what, what satisfaction do you really get from that? You know, I'd rather put something out there that I'm going to enjoy and I know it's good and other people are going to enjoy also. So not only, not only do I get a satisfaction of, you know, making it and, you know, enjoyed me doing it. You get a satisfaction of also seeing other people enjoy the pizza and giving me compliments on it. I, I don't know, just something about that I just, you know, like, I like seeing, you know, people happy when they eat and actually enjoy what they have and not feel like they wasted their money on something. I am one of uh, six boys. And uh, four of us are in the business. The last two are still in school. They got a little while ago. And um, my father, my father and my mother started the business uh, many years ago, in 1989. I was only two years old. And uh, I, don't know, I always, I always seen him, you know, working hard for both of them, not just him, you know. My mother and my father made a lot of sacrifices for, for us, you know, to have a, a better life because they came from, we're first generation here. They came from Italy. They were actually, uh, they were neighbors. And they uh, knew each other since they were really little. They actually were dating. Uh, started dating from real young. They got married young and had kids young. And I have a lot of customers that have been coming here for many, many years. Since my father opened up, they know me since I was a little kid. I have a lot of loyal customers, so I believe we're doing something right. I gotta be putting out a good product to, uh, to keep a loyal uh, customer like that. And it's not just one or two, we have a lot that have been here since we opened up. So, yes, I turned it already. You know, and it, it, you know everybody by the first name, it becomes, that's like your second family. You know, it really, you do, you feel at home when you're here, you really do, you know, at least we do. You know, we really do feel at home. We, we enjoy talking to, you know, people that we know for so many years. And, um, I don't know, to me, there's really nothing better than that. I don't, what more can you really ask for? You have a job, something that you love doing. You have good people coming in, talking to you. You work with the Penny Nears family, you know. <laughs> That's a special social square my brother mentioned a little earlier. I believe this was the one that... 
I created actually. <laughs> I don't remember. I got so many files. I don't even know. I think this is the one I did. Well, trial and error. We tweaked it probably about twice. We got it down fast. It's wonderful. It's very light too. Consider the fact that it's a damn pizza sticker or it's got some things on there. It's very light. It's very flavorful. It's very good. It seems <clears throat> as if we have it all together now. Thank God, finally. We say like we made it. But to get here, at least for my parents, was not easy. Was many sacrifices, hard times. But with time, patience, and hard work, made it through. Successful. Beautiful family. A job, a career. A lot of good memories, a couple of tears, but we're here. I mean, my parents came in. My father was 17, 17 years old, right? 17 years old, daddy. Came here in America, 17 years old. A few months after that, my mother followed. He started as a uh, handyman, construction worker. But, you know, it wasn't consistent. Jobs were on, jobs were off. He got involved in the pizza business. And he saw something was more steady, day in and day out. A lot of work, a lot of hours, okay, but steady. He needed something to support himself, start his family, and took off from there. After a few months, after a few years, he was able to find his own place. And uh, here we are, many years down the road. Been in business now, 28 years I've been in business. Got two locations. This is the one that started it all. And he's actually still working at the other location in uh, New Jersey with my other two brothers, Alex and Vito, my mother. And he got my little brothers at home, <laughs> taking it easy. Always wanting to relax. I'm tired. So, but thank God. So how proud of you and your family? Very proud. Very, uh, very, very proud. So proud that I don't like talking about it because there's times where I would... Uh, you, know, you would reminisce, you know, sometimes we sit at the table and uh, you think about what it took to get here, what it takes to stay here. It gets a little emotional sometimes, <laughs> but all good things. I'm going to go in the kitchen before I start bowling. Give myself a good minute. I started inventing my own pizza from when I was real young. When I first started, actually. You, you know, my, my father started with like all the other pizzerias, the basics, a pepperoni, a sausage, you know, a pie. You will have a white pie. That's really about it. You know, the regulars, obviously. And he'll throw in like a veggie here and there. It was never, nothing, you know, complicated, nothing. Everything was very simple. So I was young. I always said, you know, let's try something else. Let's do something else. At first, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't too happy about that. He's like, no, stick with what you know, stick with, you know, what's good. Then we started uh, making a couple of different pies, this and that. He enjoyed it. So then that's it. He got off my back and he started saying, all right, do whatever you got to do. And that's how that started. And I don't know, I just always like trying something different. You get bored of the same thing over and over, even though, you know, they're classics. You're never going to stop eating a regular, that's for sure. But you got to always try something different. You can't always have the same thing every day. So I started, you know, putting some stuff together. And I have a bunch of friends that will come in and try them before I sell them, just for, you know, some honest opinion. Because you always think you do everything good. Meanwhile, you know, then you give it to some friends, and they're like, ah, you can do this and do that. So... You tweak it a little bit and you make it a little better and then you put it up for sale. So, you see how that goes. Well, Me Lover was from many, many years ago when I was like 15 years old. That was one of the first pies I started uh, doing that was different. That was just a bunch of uh, toppings that it's had pepperoni, sausage, bacon, ham. And that, that was... That was always a big hit. All the way to now, it still is. Um, 
I'm not the only one that came out with some. Some of my brothers came out with. You know, they made the like the chicken vodka. They had that one, and that's still a great hit. There's there's quite a few of them. Um, the veggie my father made. That's always a, a great seller. It's very simple, but it's so good. It's spinach, broccoli, tomatoes. And that's always been a very good seller here. And um, I also, this, I don't know, there's so many. I also made like a taco pizza, a Mexican style pizza. You know, that's, like I'll get an idea from eating like a burrito or something. And I'll be like, you know what, we can change this up and put it into a pie, you know, somehow. And that's what, that's how I usually, you know, get inspired to do something new. Always lots of love in the family. Always stuck up for each other, always was there. Still, we still are. The love from the family def definitely infected the pizza. Because of that, that's how this all got started. It's always lots of love, and and it, to me, it definitely shows. You you can definitely tell when you have a slice. You can definitely tell there's a lot of love in it. You know, not many places are still owned and run by by the family. It's like you know, most people just have workers there, and that's it. They don't even show up no more. You know, there's no more sense of uh, pride in what they do. They just put out a product out there just to just to make a couple dollars. You know, they're not. There's no more. There's no more pride in what they in what they cook and what they make. There's only a few places, and that's really about it. There's not. Uh, I don't really see any more. It's not like back in the day where there was always a lot of family involved in the businesses and the kids used to always help out and. Now it's just, ah, let's make a quick dollar and that's it. That's all they get into business for. There's always a lot of love. It's, it's, if you don't have passion for what you do, if you don't have love for what you do, if you don't appreciate it, I could make it, someone else could make it, it would never be the same. We could use all the same ingredients you see here. Everything that's in the fridge, everything. But if you're not enjoying what you're doing, if you're not putting any, any appreciation into it, if you don't say this is what I like, there's no love in, the, in those hands. Are you making that dough? Are you making that pizza? You're cooking that pasta? You're making that sandwich? It's not going to taste the same. No matter how good you are, it's not going to taste the same. You need to enjoy what you're doing. You need to enjoy seeing it come out and looking the way it does. It's a whole, it's a whole process. As you're making it, you know you're doing good and you enjoy it. And that's what makes it that much better. Definitely believe you should have put a lot of love and that definitely does stem from the family. You know, if, like I said, my parents always dedicated a day to us. They always showed us love. They always, even when they were working hard, they always make time. Even in between work, they'll, you know, if we needed help with something or whatever the case may be, they were always there. Paducah Pizza was built on love of family, love of pizza, love of the community. Three great ingredients for a great pizza.